Yuvraj. Rakesh. Uh, hi, I am Yuvraj Arora. I am right at batsman and I play at six. Hi, this is Rakesh Manpat. I shoot at the Elite Shooting Academy. So, uh, when did you start shooting and stuff? 2005, long ago. So, it's been a long time. Yeah, 17 years into shooting. And when do you start cricket? Uh, I started 2017. So, yeah, so I basically like interest to want to take it professionally so I came here and I started playing went on through it. So like have you ever tried playing any other sports other than shooting? Yeah, quite a few sports. Yeah. Right. Cricket was in school but rest oh, you, of the sport, Did you play school cricket? School cricket, yes. So I like did. was it like proper tournaments and stuff or was it for fun punished by It was proper tournaments, yes. Oh you played yeah. school cricket. Yeah. Now now sir like now do you play any sports or only shooting? Only shooting competitively, but uh, I think I can be good at anything. So you want to try cricket once? Yeah, possibly today. Come, I'll teach you. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Have you shot shooting? All these like for fun, wherever we go to some fairs or a function type where okay. all the sizing other. That's the only thing which I've tried. I don't okay. think. Okay. See, I've not done that okay. much of shooting. I'll get you to shoot today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. This thing should be going out, otherwise it gets stuck normally. Yeah. Normally, whenever we play, what we have been taught basic is like you hold the bat, depends on you. It just depends on comfortableness. If you are comfortable enough, it doesn't matter how you hold the bat, how you bat. Yeah. yeah. As for the feet, we always like what coaches tell us to do is keep a shoulder width apart. Yeah. And while tapping the stance or while keeping the back lift, it's basically what you are comfortable with. Yeah. Always like whenever we start with the basics, always first shot which we are taught is forward defense. Okay. So like where we keep our normal base, so this is our base. So this is the base, whichever you feel comfortable, you can keep it like this, keep it like this, anything. Like I I personally just keep it here. Okay. So and like while playing, we take our leg front, we play, whichever shot we play, forward defense, you always like make sure eyes over the ball, like you're watching the ball till the end. Okay. And yeah, that's all. What matters is basically watching the ball, whichever shot you play, however you play, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, and weight transfer, like if you are playing forward, you keep it forward. If you are playing back, you be back. So, yeah. So you want to try? Yeah, sure. So I've seen Dravid facing these balls, like yeah, really so fast balls and he stops the balls like anything. So yeah, I keep it this way. fine? Yeah, and like back lift, yeah. It's proper, so like whenever we do forward defense, it's always, yeah, so. You do, I'll show it to you. Yeah. So we take our leg, pull forward, yeah. more forward. Uh, and then we go down. Yeah. This comes here. Yeah. And head goes under the ball. Under yeah. the ball, like we watch the ball. We okay. go pull down, like in a okay. lunge position. Yeah. Like that. This is perfect. So this is the way, like we lunge till the end and then we go. Yeah, exactly. This is how we do. And like okay. we need to watch the ball. So yeah. I'll throw some balls to you if you want. Sure. Perfect that is. That's fine. You are telling you I haven't played but... <laughs> it's, always, it's always about comfortableness. It doesn't matter what you are doing. Like however you are batting. Yeah. Solid sir. Okay. See now this, you had gap between bat and pad. Huh. So bend middle. I was not watching the ball. If you want, you throw some, I'll show it to you. That was good. So, what do you think? What's the difference for your sport? Like, how, how, how it, it is, is very physical. Like, you really have to move around in this space. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I also feel like it's a little more physical than shooting. Yeah. But what, what difference exactly do you feel like? How, like, mentally also? Yeah. What do you think can be the difference? Like, what similarities do you see? What difference do you see? Focus is something you have to bring, right? Mm -hmm. You can't be even losing a second of focus on the pitch there. Mm -hmm. And the ball can just fly in, right? So, mm -hmm. and uh, you can just miss it. Mm -hmm. So, you got to be like really bringing your uh, focus to the center. Mm -hmm. Every shot in between, you got to be able to bring it back. You'll see the shooting is also physical. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll yeah, get to yeah, learn see. today. <laughs> let's see, I'll try yeah, now. You'll get to. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put you in a spot. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, welcome. So these are air rifles. This is Walter. This is Fenwick Boo. 
and they're about five and a half kg. So this is my kit, uh, jacket and trousers. Similarly, how you suit up, we also suit up here. And uh, this is not for uh, bulletproof, but to take the weight of the rifle. So rifle is about uh, here. Rifle is about five and a half kg. Yeah. Heavy? Yeah, I mean, yeah, decent. Yeah. So now you like hold it for three hours, it feels three hours. Yeah, heavy. of course you will get, yeah, yeah, correct sir. Yeah, practice sessions are around three to four hours. Mm -hmm. Matches maybe, so you don't point at... Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so even for fun, we're like, uh, okay, never pointing at anybody. Yeah, you do, yeah, correct. Yeah, that's a safety rule. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's clear, I've checked the rifle, so you don't have to worry. Mm -hmm. step in and you again your feet is just like cricket yeah. shoulder apart yeah. <clears throat> and you're pointing both your toes towards me and slightly more wider it's because weight is going to be slightly heavier than a cricket bat so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> also the weight will come onto the top of the shoulders mm -hmm. so then you uh, basically widen your feet 10 percent more than your shoulder mm -hmm. so a little more wider mm -hmm. so and then hip you tend to move it towards the target mm -hmm. move it and then put your elbow this way, yeah, and then I'll give you the rifle. Yeah. So it comes in this way. Hold it, hold it from here, left leg, like and then your hand is actually tucking the rifle there. So I'll release an empty shot. So whenever you think the circle, circle is there, and you can just fire. So does does it have a recoil where I go back? You can try now. You will see. I'm just scared if it hits my face. <laughs> no, back no. Ah, that's it. It's I gone. didn't shoot it. So okay. this trigger is so sensitive, it's just about 20 grams. Yeah, I just didn't, I just pressed on, I just, just kept my finger. Fires. Can you try once more? Yeah. So it's very sensitive. Yeah, I noticed. I can then even the focus, like if you move little vibrate, that can yeah. take yeah. a chance because I'm moving the left and right. Yeah. And uh, this trigger, which is 30 grams, can feel like 2 kgs in a match. So now the target is this. Uh, target point of view, you have different circles, right? Mm. Each ring gives you one point. Mm. There are 10 rings here. Mm. So the 10th ring are these two. Mm. So they get one point. 10 points would be maximum mm -hmm. per shot. So then you have 60 shots. 600 would be the maximum score. Mm -hmm. 60 into 10, shot, 10 points maximum. So that 600 is the total score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've done a 598 Five. in an international match. And so also every shot we're supposed to reload it. Mm -hmm. So we're not allowed to use magazines. Mm -hmm. So every time you have to put it down, load it, then you again pick it, it up. Off. So imagine a dumbbell of you know five and a half kg, you're supposed to lift it 60 times off the you know a gym rack mm -hmm. and then put it back. Mm -hmm. And then you're supposed to control that weight also. That's where mental effort and amount of uh, mental focus to focus, 75 minutes comes, comes into play. Do you want to take a shot? Yeah. Okay, so you can keep it. So loading is now simple. Uh, we unload the lever and we typically get these pellets. So these pellets are uh, flat head. So you place them here and once you close it, you're ready to fire. So for safety, we'll focus on the target and then close it because while picking up most people tend to press it that's the trigger yeah, yeah. and very sensitive right so mm. you can just shoot anywhere mm -hmm. so we'll pick up the rifle and yeah. then close it okay so i'm shooting that one right yeah 11 so finger usually out yeah so feet apart so yeah shoulder first here here once again you look here mm. Yeah, you place it like that, mm. carefully wherever you are, because the higher quality rifles, the bigger rifles tend to have a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. so then you have to be very secure with your shoulder, mm -hmm. so that's your basics, mm -hmm. right. So left hand much closer, hand closer, mm -hmm. yeah, that way, and put it on your body, like that, yeah, place it on your body, and then maybe this way. One second. Yeah. So this is proper on the shoulder, right? Yeah. This may get a little discomforting. Oh yeah, now I can see. Yeah, so I'll load it. Yeah. 
So when you see the circle, circle and circle, right? Yeah. These circles, you can just make a trigger and hold your breath. So I should not breathe. Breathe out and hold. And hold it, yeah. This country has been shaking left, mm. right, up, down. Let's so where did that hit? Wow, not bad. That was almost... But that's actually almost that 10 points. Yeah, that's that 10 points. Yeah, that did touch the dot. Yeah. So once it touches, it's a bullseye. So it's 10 points. Yeah, it's 10 it's points. <laughs> good. good. You keep it again and try. That's where the sport is. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Consistency matters, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's see if we can get another one. Everything proper, eh? Yeah. A little more wider. It's fine. It's totally. That was far out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's a See, two point. A big difference, yeah. Two. Yeah, yeah. So, by the you time I reach the... By the time you pulled it, like, too hard. You're too quick. And you're too excited to see where it is. Yeah, yeah. So I should take my time till the end and then... Yeah. Like how you do a follow through in cricket, right? Yeah, after yeah. After the bat, after the ball, you keep watching it. Mm -hmm. Right? Where the contact was. Similarly here, after firing, we continue to stay in the same spot. Don't think too far ahead. Mm -hmm. So like if I got one, I should not think, oh, okay, it's easy, <laughs> I can just get a try. Yeah. Like that's what I thought. I thought, what, <laughs> then easily I got again, I'll get nothing. Yeah. So I'll try once more. Yes, please. Yeah. So we have a thumb rule here. Hmm. You finish good and then you pack up. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> it I'm sure it must be the same, similar. Yeah, yeah. So like always end with a good shot is yeah. what I think. Even if you're practicing, never end with a bad shot. Yeah. You go home, keep thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. More wider feet. Yeah. Shoulder here. So can you load it? Yeah. I load it. Yeah. Open your eyes, both eyes. Open it. Okay. This time I actually started breathing while shooting, I don't know why. Not bad. This is like it's actually. 10, so. That's again 10. Again, bullseye, I got what? So you end with a good note. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I can try this again. I think I loved it. I'd love to try it again, or possibly other sports here, yeah, like playing. And I would love you to also come and play cricket anytime. Definitely. Soon, yeah. yeah. Pleasure, man. Thank you. Same.